Hey guys, welcome back. This is Professor Hank, and in this video, I'm going to show you how to get started using the latest version of Visual Studio Community 2019. So, this is going to be, I think, I don't know, maybe the third version of this video that I've done. Um, new update for Visual Studio, so, you know, just trying to update the video. So, here we go. Uh, I'm going to show you what to download. I'm going to show you how to set up a project in Visual Studio uh, Community 2019. I'm going to show you how to write, compile, and run uh, your, you know, your typical Hello World program. You know, what you write just to get started and make sure everything is set up and configured correctly. Um, then once we go through and do that, I'm going to show you where to find stuff in the Visual Studio project folder. So. You know, we need to identify the source code file and the executable that actually gets built. Um, you know, once you know you compile your code, right? So let's go ahead and get started with that. Okay, so let's go ahead and go download the installer for Visual Studio. So we'll just do a search here for Microsoft Visual Studio uh, 2019. Should get her done, and then um, once that's done, top link here, Visual Studio 2019. Um, go ahead and click that, and once that comes up, we'll got this uh, icon in the middle here. The mouse over the V looking icon, the V looking icon there, and then you can see we have the option for Community 2019. That's what we want. That's the free version. So we'll click on that. And that should start our download here in just a second. Right there you go. Save it wherever you want. Okay, I'll throw it on my desktop here. Okay, so once you've downloaded that thing, uh, double click on the installer there. And that's going to start the, the uh, installation process. You can go ahead and hit continue. That's going to download your files for you to, to get going, right? So this is going to take a minute or two, um, depending on how fast your machine is. Uh, basically, you have to download the installer, which you then use to download and install Visual Studio. So it's almost kind of like a two-part process, right? Um, this is going to take a certain amount of time based off of you know, how fast your internet connection is, how fast your hard drive is, all that kind of stuff. So it shouldn't take too long here for me to do it. I think just a second. Cool. So here's your installer, right? So you've got a bunch of options here, and what we want is since we're going to be doing C++, is we want to choose the option down here. You know, desktop development with C++. So I'll go ahead and click on that. You can see it gets checked in the right hand side over here. You see that there's some installation details. Uh, we'll go ahead and leave all of these guys checked. We'll go, ahead with, go with the default and then we'll click on install. Now you're going to see here that total space required going to be pretty big, right? So once I get the install started, I'll go ahead and uh, you know pause the video, then I'll come back when it's done, okay? So click install and I don't want to take your survey, so go away. You can see that the download's begun, and so I'll be back as soon as this is done installing, right? Um, I'll check that start after installation, just so that way, make it easier for me to get everything coordinated in the video. Okay, be right back. All right, so we're back. The install is finished. Here's the completion screen. So I'm going to go ahead and click on launch uh, start Visual Studio now. All right, so there's your startup screen and depending again how quick your computer is, it's going to start up sooner, faster or slower. Sign in button here is if you have a Microsoft account, they're free, you can get one if you want to. Um, you know, feel free to sign if you want, I'm going to say not now, maybe later. Okay, I'm going to choose a theme. So this is just a, how you know the, your, your your environment's going to look. I like the dark, so I'm going to go with that. Development settings. This is for Visual C++ or for C++. So I'm going to choose the Visual C++ option. Do that. Click Start Visual Studio. <clears throat> Take a second or two. All right. And cool. Now 
Now this is the opening screen for Visual Studio right here, okay? So what I want to do is I want to create a brand new project. So I'm going to select that option, bottom option here, okay? Now once I've done that, I want to create an empty project, right? So I'm going to go with that option. The rest of these um, options here will um, add some scaffolding code to your project, which you don't want, right? You want an empty project, you want every single line of code that you write to be um, or to, that's going to be in your project to be something that you uh, write, okay? So it provides no starting files. That's what I want. So go ahead and hit next. Okay, now we're going to want to name uh, the, our project something, right? So we'll go ahead and name this uh, demo. And I suggest that you name um, your project and your source code file uh, different things, okay? So I'm going to name this demo project, okay, and then the source code file that I added to the project, I'm going to name something else. Now, where should I create this? Well, I'm going to put it on my desktop. This is the default location, but I find it easier to locate everything if I put it somewhere that's easily accessible. So I'm going to put it on my desktop by clicking this ellipsis icon here. That's a button. I can then click on desktop and then say select folder, okay? So what this is going to do is going to create on my desktop a directory called demo project. Okay, so then once I've done that, I'll go ahead and click the Create button. And that'll take a second to get everything going. Get everything set up. And once done, we've got our IDE Visual Studio window open. Okay, so from here, we can start doing our coding. Let me just give you a quick little um, tour of the window, what we got here. Uh, so left hand side here you've got what's called the solution explorer and this is where we're going to interact to add our source code file because we haven't had anything yet to the, to, the, to the project or to the solution right so you can see that there's some folders here this is a way to organize your project by types of files so we're going to add a source code file here in just a second but you also have other types of files too like header files um, resource files could be you know images or whatnot um, we'll also be able to locate um, or be able to open up our project folder directly from here. Okay, so um, once we've added a source code file in the big area to the right, you know, this big blank area, that's where our, our file is going to appear. Along the top portion of the window, you can see, you know, you've got all your different um, drop down menus. Okay, and you also have um, another sub menu here in where it says local Windows debugger. That's what we'll be clicking on to build and run um, our program, okay? So let's add a source code file by clicking on source files here, right clicking on it and then selecting add, okay? So then from these options, we'll select new item, okay? Now that's gonna bring us up a little wizard and then we can select on CPP file because we're gonna create a, CP, a C++ uh, source code file, right? So down here where it says name, uh, we're going to have to name this file and highly recommend that you give it a different name than your project because uh, it'll be easier to find it in the project folder when you go to hunt the thing down. So I'm just going to name this um, main.cpp. Okay, so I do that and then once I do that, click add. Okay, and when that's done, you're going to see that we now have a window for typing our uh, text, our, our, our source code. And then in the Solution Explorer, you can see that main.cpp has been added. Okay, now it's only this first file, the very first one that you add to the project is the one that's going to get compiled. So keep that in mind. For every program that you write, you have to create for yourself a new um, project, a new Visual Studio project. Okay, so let's go ahead and just do our Hello World thing. So. I'm going to hold down the control button and then I'm going to scroll up with my mouse wheel. You're going to see this is going to get bigger. Okay, you can also grab this stuff and drag it out of the way. Um, so I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to do a pound include IO stream. All right, that's going to give me access to C out. I'm going to type using namespace STD just because. Um, stupid to do, but we'll keep it simple. So we'll go ahead and uh, put that in there. Now you can see on the tab up here where it says main.cpp, see that asterisk up there? That means I've made an edit and haven't saved anything yet. We'll go ahead and finish writing the code and then we'll save it. Okay, so let me go ahead and put my int main in here. 
Um, you can have the open and close and curly braces, and then I'll just say see out uh, hello world. Okay, boom, semicolon, awesome. So now before I build everything, or you know, if I just want to save stuff, you know, get in the habit of saving early and often, you know, I can save the file by hitting the save icon, by going up to file and typing save main.cpp, or I can just hold control and S at the same time. See the asterisk is gone now, it's been saved. So at this point, I'm ready to go ahead and compile my program and run it. So by clicking the local Windows debugger button up here, Visual Studio is gonna compile the program, run it, pop open a window for you and keep this version, this latest version is gonna keep that window open for you. So let's go ahead and click on it. The uh, output window appears at the very bottom giving you a summary of what's going on. If there was any kind of errors or anything, you'd see some error messages down in that window, right? Now, uh, I didn't have any errors, so everything built and ran just fine. So here's the uh, window that pops up showing your output. Now, if you notice, hello world is this first line in the window is the only thing that's the result of my program. Everything else that comes after that was appended automatically by Visual Studio. Okay, so the only thing that's a result of the code that I actually wrote is that those words hello world. And something that's nice about the new version of Visual Studio 2019, I was pleasantly surprised, is that this window now stays open. In previous versions of Visual Studio, it always automatically just closed, right? It was kind of annoying. Um, it's nice that Microsoft finally added that in. Um, Codeblocks has been, you know, doing that forever. And just like other, other uh, IDs have been doing that forever. Finally, Microsoft caught on. Okay, so if we hit enter now, that's gonna close um, the window. Okay, so we built the thing, um, we, we, we installed, we got, we added the file. Remember that the very first file is the one that gets uh, built, right? So now you're done. If this was like a homework assignment or you, know, you need to find your source code, uh, where's main.cpp, right? Well, what you can do is you can go up here on and click on demo project, right? In the solution explorer, you can right click on that and then scroll down and you'll see where it says open folder in file explorer. So you can click on that and it'll open up the demo project folder where your source code file is actually located. So you can see right there it says main.cpp. And since the source code file has a different name than the project, it's easy to pick it out because all the other project files have a different name, right? So if you had named your project um, main.cpp or something like that, these things would all have similar names. It might get a little confusing. Okay, so if you did do that though, uh, what you can do to find your actual code or just to double check, you can right click on a file and then you can open it with you know your favorite text editor and see how that's my source code. Well, then that's the file that I need to turn in or that's my source code file, right? You can open these other guys up too with your favorite uh, text editor. And you can see that, you know, there's a bunch of garbage in here. In this case, it's a bunch of UML stuff. That's obviously not the source code. That's not my C++ program. So I'm not going to turn that in, right, to, to my professor. So it's this guy right here, okay? Now, let me show you one other thing, right? The uh, If we go back up one level, okay, uh, you can see there's this debug folder here. Okay, now if I open that up, you can see that top file that's demo project.exe that is the actual executable file that was compiled that's the result of uh, all the work that we just did to you know type type in the code right the source code got compiled into this program right here into this file so if you double click on that right the program runs now the thing is you're not seeing anything because windows runs the programs puts hello world on the screen and then it, it goes so fast that it just instantly closes it, right? So let's go back and edit our Hello World program. We'll just put in a little statement, cn.get, save that. And what that's going to do is that's going to cause um, the program to wait, right? It's going to cause it to wait until you hit enter before it, before it terminates. So let's rebuild by going up here to local Windows debugger, click on that and run it. Okay, and what that's going to do is it's going to compile it again and run it again. Now you can see that we just see the hello world now. Right? Where's all the rest of that stuff that we saw previously? Well, the program's now waiting at line eight for me to hit enter, right? So it's paused. So when I hit enter, 
you're going to see the rest of that crap show up, right? And so, you know, the uh, it's, it's we're at the same point we were in the previous, um, you know, we're in the world before we put in C and dog in. So we can hit enter again and close that window. Now let's go back to our file explorer and double click on demo project, right? There's the program executing. Now we can actually see the output because why? It's sitting at the cn.get instruction. So when I hit enter, now it ends. So demo project.exe, that's the actual program that we created. That's the result of the compilation process. Um, you know, you can email that to yourself or run on a Windows computer. Now, if I click on desktop up here, right, this is my current desktop. Right? These are all the files on my desktop. You can see there's the demo project um, folder. Double click on that and then right, double click on demo project again. There's the source code file. Okay, if I go back, click in debug, there is the executable. Okay, so I think that that's everything that I wanted to show you in this video here. So thanks for watching and uh, we'll catch you next time. Okay, so that's gonna bring this video to a close. If you felt that the video was useful, please consider giving the video a thumbs up and if you thought that the video sucked, well, then you've got that thumbs down button as an option as well. If you'd like to see more videos, if you're interested in more content from the channel, feel free to hit that subscribe button. And as usual, if you're a student of mine and you have further questions, feel free to drop me an email or to stop by my office hours. Okay, thanks for watching and we'll see you next time.